Hey everybody, this is Roberto Blake of RobertoBlake.com helping you create something awesome today. So today we're gonna to talk about whether smartphones can truly replace DSLR cameras. Now I know this is a very interesting debate for a lot of you. I've went on record as saying that you could actually shoot YouTube videos on your smartphone and I've actually done that several times here on the channel during my Sunday vlogs. Now, what I will preface this with is the fact that I still think that the overall quality on a DSLR camera, even an entry level body like the Nikon D3200 is usually going to be better as far as video when it comes to shooting. When we're talking about images, I think that if you're shooting something and you're on the go and you're traveling, that the iPhone 6S, for example, is a fantastic camera. If you're trying to shoot a selfie, it's a fantastic camera. You want to shoot in Times Square, it's a fantastic camera. But the DSLR does offer you some options that the iPhone 6S doesn't. Um, being able to really control the aperture in you know a manual way, being able to really control things like white balancing. Yes, I know there are apps that let you do it, but it's not quite the same thing. So if you were looking at things from a filmmaker's perspective or from a professional photographer's perspective, then sure, it's very clear that a DSLR is gonna outshoot uh, a phone at a comparable price. For what we pay for smartphones today, a comparable DSLR body will outshoot that smartphone hands down in my opinion. Um, but in terms for an average user, somebody who's not a photographer or looking to be um, an indie gorilla filmmaker, somebody who really just wants to do cool stuff, somebody who wants to take family photos or have something light to travel with on vacation, look, I get it. The whole time I was in New York for the Adobe Illustrator meeting, I left my DSLR camera at home for the most part. I went through Times Square and Manhattan and all the museums shooting on my iPhone 6S because it was light, it was convenient, and the quality was tremendous. The ability to shoot 4K video, even in low light situations, can capture street artists. The ability to like you know get these amazing shots from the Egyptian uh, museum exhibit at the Met, fantastic. The HDR was amazing, and it was easy. It was easy, and I could do panoramas right there. It's like, it was very convenient. So I get it. For the average everyday person, who doesn't necessarily even know how to get the best out of a DSLR, a smartphone is just the right answer and it's the best camera. The best camera is the one that you have and the one that you like. And you know, that's just what the bottom line is. So for those of you who are more nuanced and experienced and know how to use this, this is the best tool for you. If you're an actual photographer, if you're an actual videographer, then a smartphone is not gonna cut it for you. A DSLR, a mirrorless camera, is going to be the tool that lets you artistically create the best images and the best videos that you could possibly have. But for everybody else, it's a great tool that at least gets them excited about creating something awesome. And so I'm not gonna knock it. So at the end of the day, this debate is not settled. It's a matter of personal preference, like so many other things. It's a matter of what are you trying to do and what are you capable of? You know, I feel that there are a lot of people that never get talked about in this kind of video. People who um, might be smaller people, they might be children, they might be someone with a light frame that can't carry around all this stuff. They might be someone with a disability. For them, having a phone that can take such tremendous shots with such little investment of energy and physical effort is perfect and it's the right thing and it lets them have options they never had before. So, you know, that's my answer. But anyway, I'd love to know your feelings and I'd love to know how you feel about the way that I position this argument. Let me know in the comment section how you feel about it. Do you really feel like smartphones can outshoot DSLRs? Do you feel like DSLRs are now and forever and that smartphones will never catch up or is it only a matter of time? Let me know in the comment section what you think and how you feel about it. Anyway, like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome content on the channel. In fact, if you enjoyed this, share it with a friend. As always, you guys, thanks so much for watching and don't forget, create something awesome today with a camera or a smartphone, doesn't matter.